Whoa, I got two euphemistic parodies of the exact same song. I yearn to be the champion, like no one in history of time has been. To trap them is my challenge, to make them do what I want is my reason for living. I will scour all the earth, perusing its cavernous depths. So for each pocket monster I may comprehend, the prowess it may hold. Pocket monsters! Please wait a moment, I'm fond of this arrangement of music and vocals. I'm unable to message you because I'm holding a beverage. You ought to have arranged a luncheon if you want in my company. Your communication is incessant, but I'm indisposed at present. The indicated event was a victory. I'm creating a notice at this point, colossal achievement. It's difficult to amplify my contentment. Company in this game systematic knowledge. We engage in what we are required because we're capable. For the well-being of collective us, including the existing that are deprived of life. But there's no intellect of whining over every misapplication. You continue on endeavoring before you run out of moist sugar slabs. And the systematic knowledge gets completed and you invent an elegant projectile firing device for the population that is still at this time functioning. Oh yeah. So, butt kickers, I had a grand total of two hours of sleep last night, and I blame three things. One, caffeine. Two, excessive amounts of sleep on the previous night. And three, overexcitement for the euphemistic parodies you guys were going to come up with next. So, if I'm a little incoherent, feel free to... Insomnia is a cruel queen. Luckily, it heals itself, because right now, on the list of things that I want to do most, sleep is number one. Okay. I need to get out of this funk. Number one on my list of things I want to do should be making a video. So let's make today's video. Good morning, butt kickers. It's March 9, the 68th day of 2011, which means it's Ash Wednesday. Why are there people walking around with gray plus signs on their foreheads? Are they trying to resolve to be more inclusive? Or are they simply bragging haughtily about the great knowledge they possess? I put a gray division sign on my forehead last Ash Wednesday to attempt to signify that I am simultaneously trying to be different and similar to the plus heads, but all I got was a bunch of scowls. Plus heads are mean. And now, because I couldn't work them into today's topic, more funny things you can say to people with ash crosses on their head. Looks like you got a little too close to the grill there, kid. What, what does the T stand for? X marks the spot! That means there's treasure in your head! So I'm assuming you got drunk last night and your frat brothers decided to haze you with a felt tip marker. They also kind of seem pretty bad at hazing. Four more lines and you got a swastika! I'm sorry, are you trying to say that your brain is a plus because when I look at you all I see is a body? What were you grilling anyway? It better not have been meat! Something stinks! Oh wait, it's just your smelly ash! <laughs> I wonder how many people remotely offended by anything just unsubscribed. Sorry if I offended you. I understand the importance of Ash Wednesday as a time to repent transgressions. Even if you're not a Christian, or more specifically Roman Catholic, I think Ash Wednesday is as good a time as any to reflect on your recent wrongdoings. Don't know if you know this, but if not, then newsflash, humans aren't perfect. And since I'm a human and you're human, it logically follows that we, while butt kickers, are also not perfect. All I'm saying is that people have a great capacity to be jerks, and today is a good day to look upon your jerkiness and resolve to be less jerky in the future. But don't eat jerky Catholic butt kickers. That would be bad. There's a key difference there. Ash Wednesday obviously means the onset of Lent, wherein people commonly give up things. I remember giving up pizza for Lent in grade school, and so ensued the 40 hardest days of my young life. Are you going to give up anything? If so, what? Maybe I'll just give up staying awake and just be asleep for 40 days. Yeah. Until tomorrow, I'm Griff.